Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So I labeled this all things cauliflower the hot cruciferous vegetable of the day. <laughs> if cauliflower was, was, was like a Hollywood star they'd be in the top 20. I mean cauliflower is the it girl okay of today. So for the icon, I showed three different natural cauliflower heads that are so beautiful. The most common, of course, is white that everybody gets. And it is high in vitamin C and K and high in fiber and folate. But very cool is purple, my favorite color. For purple, it's higher in antioxidants. It's good for your eyes, yay, and helps with weight loss. I love that. And finally, yellow, and such a fun yellow, like a turmeric yellow, right? It's 25% more vitamin A than the white cauliflower, and it's good for your skin and your eyes. So I hope you'll benefit from looking at that, but of course, you know me. I have two additional articles that are all about cauliflower, and I'm going to share some highlights with those. I will put them in the description of this video and encourage you to take some time, especially if you're getting your head around doing cauliflower. I know it can be um, a little too strong in smell for some people, um, but there's so many benefits and so many ways to prepare it. I bet you could get past that. I really do. And putting it in really cold water helps too. Like ice cold water reduces any smell. Um, so cauliflower is what, let me tell you first, this is from Healthline, which is an online medical journal, if you will. It's kind of like a magazine and I get a lot of things from it and really enjoy it. So again, I'll put it in the description of the video. So it says the top eight health benefits of cauliflower. Cauliflower is an extremely healthy vegetable that's a significant source of nutrients. It also contains unique plant compounds that may reduce the risk of several diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Additionally, it's weight loss friendly and incredibly easy to add to your diet. Here are eight science-based health benefits of cauliflower. Number one, it contains many nutrients. Um, the way that they always do this for Healthline is they give you a ton of information, but they always have a box at the end, which is simply a summary for each segment. So if you're someone who doesn't have the tolerance, just go to the summaries. You'll still benefit. I'm just going to give some highlights, but again, I encourage you to go back and check it for yourself. So it contains many nutrients. The nutrient profile of cauliflower is quite impressive. Cauliflower is very low in calories, yet high in vitamins. In fact, cauliflower contains some of Listen to this. Cauliflower contains some of almost every vitamin and mineral that you need. Here is an overview of the nutrients found in just one cup. And you know cauliflower is big and bulky. It's easy to get a cup. Just one cup or 128 grams of raw cauliflower. Number one, there's only 25 calories. Two, three grams of fiber. Just like unheard of. That's amazing. Uh, vitamin C, check it, 77% of your recommended daily allowance. Remember, this is all in one cup. Vitamin K, 20%. Vi vitamin B6, 11% of the RDI. Um, folate, 14%. And then pantothenic acid, 7%. Potassium, 9%, manganese, 8%, magnesium, 4%, and phosphorus, 4%. Most likely, people will have more than a cup. But all of that is in just one cup, and it's amazing. So the summary, cauliflower is an excellent source of vitamins and minerals containing some of almost every vitamin and mineral that you need. Number two, it's high in fiber. As I suggested, there's three grams in one single cup, and that's 10% of your daily need of fiber. Have two cups, you're at 20% of your fiber. Amazing. Fiber, of course, is important because it feeds the healthy bacteria in your gut. It's a hot topic. Um, that help reduce inflammation. Another buzz term. I mean, inflammation. Who's not talking about that? And promotes digestive health. Um, so it can help with constipation, diverticulitis, inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. Again, it helps with uh, obesity prevention in the sense that it has an ability to promote fullness and reduce overall caloric intake. Once again, there's that final summary. Cauliflower contains a high amount of fiber, which is important for digestive health and may reduce the risk of several chronic diseases. Number three, it's a great source of antioxidants. Cauliflower is a great source of antioxidants, which protect your cells from harmful free radicals and 
ding, 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 inflammation. All right, it is similar to other cruciferous vegetables. Cauliflower is particularly high in glucosinolates and isothiocyanates, two groups of antioxidants that have been shown to slow the growth of cancer cells. Praise God. So find a way to eat it, people, and spare yourself of cancer. It's also incredibly high in vitamin C. Summary. Cauliflower provides a significant amount of antioxidants, which are beneficial to reducing inflammation and protecting against several chronic diseases. Number four, may aid in weight loss. Because it's only 25 calories per cup, you can eat a lot of it without gaining weight. Also, you will feel satiated. It's also a great low calorie food to substitute high calorie foods such as rice or flour. And you can use it in several ways, which we're going to be talking about. So it's a great factor in controlling your weight. Summary, cauliflower is low in calories, but high in fiber and water. All properties that may assist in weight loss. It is 92% water. All right, number five, it's high in choline. And apparently not many foods are. One cup of cauliflower contains 45 milligrams of choline, which is about 11% of the adequate intake for women and 8% for men. Choline has several important functions in the body. It helps with integrity of cell membranes, synthesizing the DNA and supporting metabolism. What's more, it helps prevent cholesterol from accumulating in the liver, so important. And not many foods contain choline, as I suggested, but cauliflower and broccoli are two of the best. Summary, cauliflower is a good source of choline, a nutrient many people are lacking. It is involved in many processes in the body, processes, right? And works to prevent several diseases. Number six, it's rich in sulforaphane. I hope I'm saying that right. Cauliflower contains sulforaphane, an extensively studied antioxidant. It can be particularly helpful for suppressing cancer development by inhibiting enzymes that are involved in cancer and tumor growth. It can potentially stop cancer growth by destroying cells that are already damaged. Research shows that it can help reduce blood pressure and keep arteries healthy, both major factors in preventing heart disease. And the bottom line, cauliflower is rich in sulforaphane, a plant compound with many beneficial effects, such as reduced risk of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Again, I'm not reading it all. I hope you'll go back, but I'm doing the highlights. Number seven, low carb alternative to grains and legumes. Cauliflower is incredibly versatile and can be used to replace grains and legumes in your diet. Not only is this a fantastic way to increase your veggie intake, but it's also especially helpful for those who follow low carb, low carb diets. I would argue high carb diets too, right? Healthy carbs. Um, a cup of cauliflower contains five grams of carbs. At the same time, a cup of rice contains 45 grams of carbs, nine times the amount. Here are some examples of things that can be made. And if you actually click on the hyperlinks, you can get the recipes. But number one, cauliflower rice to replace standard rice. Cauliflower pizza crust, uh, which of course can re replace uh, the whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead is what comes to mind. Uh, cauliflower hummus. Chickpeas can be replaced with cauliflower. So smart. Cauliflower mash. Instead of making mashed potatoes, you can certainly do mashed cauliflower. Cauliflower tortillas. Um, but this one includes eggs and stuff. I wouldn't do it, but people, if you're not there, maybe. Cauliflower mac and cheese. All right. Summary. Cauliflower can replace grains and legumes in many recipes, which is a great way to eat more veggies or follow a low-carb diet. Number eight, easy to add to your diet. Not only is cauliflower versatile, but it is also very easy to add to your diet. To begin with, you can consume it raw, which requires very little preparation. You can enjoy raw cauliflower florets as a snack dipped in hummus or another healthy vegetable dip like this one and of course they give a hyperlink cauliflower can also be cooked in a variety of ways such as steaming roasting or sauteing it makes an excellent side dish or can be combined with dishes like soup salads stir fries and casseroles not to mention it's fairly cheap and widely available at most grocery stores in summary there are many ways to add cauliflower to your diet it can be consumed cooked or raw and makes a fantastic addition to just about any dish the bottom line, this is a bottom line group of people. Cauliflower provides some powerful 
health benefits. It's a great source of nutrients, including a few that many people need more of. Plus, cauliflower contains unique antioxidants that may reduce inflammation and protect against several diseases such as cancer and heart disease. What's more, cauliflower is easy to add to your diet. It's tasty, easy to prepare, and can replace hard carb, high carb foods in several recipes. So again, you're welcome to just go summary to summary. You can just go to the bottom line, or you can be amazing and actually read the article. <laughs> okay, here's the second one. And this is from Veg News, as in short for vegetables. Nine unbelievably awesome uses for cauliflower. Okay, so this is for recipes, and of course there's hyperlinks, and it also complements the person who had posted it initially. So it says, move over cats. The internet has a new darling, and it's cauliflower. This savory staple has starred in Alu Gavi for years, but a recent tide of chefs and blockers are exploring its multi-purpose prowess. Sneaking into dishes from appetizers to dessert, you'll never look at a head of cauliflower the same way again. Can't you just see the paparazzi? Ch -ch 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 -ch. That cauliflower is looking hot. Look at those curves. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> okay, because we're in love with food in our society, right? We might as well be digging on vegetables. All right, so number one, buffalo wing pizza. And it talks all about it, and they have the recipe from Keep It In Mind, which is, I guess, the group that made it. It looks amazing. It's not for me. Number two, cauliflower mac and cheese from Nissa's Kitchen. And again, just click on Nissa's Kitchen. tells you all about it. Number three, cauliflower creamy salad. It actually looks pretty good. And it's by Gourmandale, like gourmet, Gourmandale. Um, the next one, chocolate cake by Chocolate Covered Katie, who gives you her recipe. Hummus crusted cauliflower steaks. They really do look amazing. From uh, Fat-Free Vegan Kitchen. Uh, no cream of mushroom soup. I love that. From Healthy Happy Life. Red Lentil Cauliflower Burger from Vegan Richa. Roasted Buddha Bowl from Oh She Glows. <laughs> and a Roasty Soba Bowl. And number nine, a Cauliflower Pizza Bites from Keeping It Kind. Oh, the recipe is from Dammy Health. Anyway, lots of options here. Lots of choices for you to implement, use, and benefit from cauliflower. All right, just wanted to share out, my friends. And if anyone can help me, I am totally looking for vegan lipstick that is non-scented, okay? Like, that's the key. Non-scented vegan lipstick. Uh, I'm not having any luck thus far. I ordered from what I think was called uh, Elf. E, but E period, L period, F period, I think it was Elf Cosmetics for gorgeous color lipsticks. Totally took a risk and ordered them. They were all scented. I wanted to die. I just wanted to die. I, To be fair, I've been using Revlon, which is the only non-scented one I can find. Even uh, all the other ones have scents, and I love the colors too. I have a billion, and, and it doesn't affect me, but... Even though Revlon doesn't test on animals in America, it tests on animals in China. And I just don't know if I can justify it. Oh, it's so hard being informed, isn't it? <laughs> it is so hard being held accountable for being informed. Sorry, it was just Mama being dramatic. Uh, monkey face, it was just Mama being dramatic. Ain't no thing. You've done really well this whole video. Um, anyway, I found... Oh, what was it called? I was looking for fragrance-free shampoo and conditioner. Oh, it was called the Apothecary. Are you familiar? I think it was called the Apo Apothecary. Oh, I said it right the first time. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Yay me. After a couple hours sleep and actually listened to the Raw Reset Live. What's up, y'all? I was very proud of myself. But, of course, it is 10 o'clock at night and uh, only getting later. And even though tomorrow's Saturday, I have plans. So... I'm proud of myself and I have a right to trip over words. <laughs> but people, actual lipstick with no fragrance, if you know. But that apothecary 
whatever, I don't know sure which place it was, they actually had fragrance, free shampoo, fragrance, free conditioner. It was actually called base shampoo and base conditioner. And then of course they sell all of the essential oils to make it all fun, tea tree oil, lavender, everything. And like a gallon of shampoo, and I read the reviews, there was like a billion reviews. People were very pleased with it. A gallon of the shampoo was only 15 bucks, like I'm rounding up. And a gallon of the conditioner was like 23 bucks. And they had curly girls on there saying, man, this stuff's amazing even for my curls. And uh, for normal and um, what was the other hair? I don't know, like normal and curly, they recommend that you leave it half in. It like had all these hot tips. I'm super interested. They also had soap. Because again, they sell large quantities for people who want to add their own fragrances. And then they also have the fragrances. But for a girl who just wants nothing, just my natural fragrance, <laughs> I'm just stoked and I pray it's right for me. But what about lipstick? And I'm still trying to do the hair situation too. I mostly just have the gray around my crown, but um, it's hiding right now. But it's hiding with... What do I, what was I using? I know the name of it. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me. It's not Revlon. Is it by Revlon? Color Silk. So it is by Revlon, right? Color Silk by Revlon. Color Silk number 43. Um, but anyway, sadly, again, they don't test on animals here, but they do in China. <sighs> All right, help me out, people. I am low maintenance in a very high maintenance way. Just ask my husband. <laughs> and I need to step it up, all right? I'm not ready to go gray. I am not ready to not have fun lips. I need to find a way, but I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. I, I think I told you my terrible asthma attack the other day in my classroom, and I just... I'm hurting. I'm physically hurting. All right. Like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know your hot tips if you have any. Have an amazing Friday. And until we talk again, best of all, know that I will pray for you tomorrow morning at Mass and that you're blessed.